All right, guys, it is now your turn. Let's get into it. Backtesting. This is the most important part of any single strategy is making sure that your strategy works. If you backtest, you're not going to struggle. If you don't backtest, you are going to struggle massively, period. Here's some examples on how to backtest. I recommend getting TradingView Pro subscription to enhance your backtesting experience. It's not necessary, but it makes it a lot easier. And we're going to get into that towards the end of this episode. So let's move into it. What backtesting is, is making sure that you go back in time on past historical data and you test as if you were trading live to make sure that a strategy works, to make sure you understand it and to make sure that everything you're doing is working. Of course, it is a very good way to trade without having to wait for the market. You can instantly just play the next amount of time. And that's pretty much that. It's very simple to do, but very, very overlooked. So step one, go to a random point in time on TradingView, pick any pair that you want to trade slash test with. The more experience you gain, the more you'll gravitate to specific pairs and specific strategies. This is how you pick strategies. If you want to pick one to begin with, I do recommend the order blocks as that's what we mainly use ourselves. But if you want to test all the strategies, back test, do 100 trade back testing or 50 trades back test and see which ones you like the most. It'll probably take you a full day, but in the grand scheme of things, a full day is not a long amount of time to learn a skill and pick a strategy. If you have the pro version on Trade and View, you can use the replay tool, which allows you to delete all time after a specific point. Then you can play time as if you were trading live. Otherwise, just trade from the right hand side of your chart and keep scrolling across. This one you do have to be a bit stricter on yourself for, but it is very good, it still works. The only different difficult part is changing time frames, which is why I do recommend you get Pro. It's something like £89 a year or something like that. It's not overly expensive. Um, it is definitely worth the investment. I'm sure they have a monthly pan as well. If you do wish to go get TradingView Pro, we do have an affiliate link with them. It's in the hour link section in Discord. If you wish to use it, feel free. If not, then yeah, we go ahead with our day. If you do use the link in the description, actually, you get £30, I believe, towards your pro subscription. So it's only like £50 a month, uh, £50 a year, which makes it even cheaper. Uh, step two, analyze the chart and take your trades, quote unquote. This means you need to place your long or short position tool on trading view. We've briefly looked at that in the introduction to charts video and see what results of your trade is again you can move stop loss to break even take partials but it's important you're brutally honest with yourself with your results otherwise you're going to be disappointed when it comes to live trading you're only fooling yourself if you send in the community that you've just back tested and got all of these results because when it comes to live the only person who's actually making the loss is you potentially you could still be making it look like you're a god at the charts in the community but at the end of the day, nobody cares. You focus on yourself and make sure that you are brutally honest with yourself and become the best trader that you can possibly be. Write down all your results on a piece of paper, including risk, return, wins and losses. Potentially even use a spreadsheet or anything that you feel comfortable logging those results with. And then we head on to step 2.2. After each trade you take, make sure you look back over it. See if you could have done anything better. Try to learn from every single trade that you place. If you do this, you will 100%, I guarantee, you will become a better trader in no time. So step three is just repeat, repeat, repeat. Practice creates confidence. There's no such thing as perfection in Forex. Everyone's gonna lose, but the least you can do is make the minimal mist mistakes possible, become as consistent as you can, make money, and create a reliable income in the long term. That's important, long term. Not reliable for a month, two months. It needs to be something that you can do for a living. You can never backtest too much and you're never going to get too good to backtest. Myself, Tans, James, we all still backtest. Uh, myself, weekly. I couldn't speak to, for the other guys, but I'm sure they do it very, very often. So, the next thing that you need to do is demo trade. Ensure that you can do it in a live situation because this brings into the patience and the sort of frustration side of emotions and practice and master in these. Because when you're backtesting, you just press next, 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 next candle. And eventually, you're going to get the scenario that you want. Whereas if you're waiting hours and hours of time for a single trade, then you start to get the emotions, you start rushing trades, you start panicking, you get fear of missing out, 
all of these things that you wouldn't get from bag testing. Uh, and it does incorporate a sort of money aspect, although, albeit not real, not your money, it is still a very good way to simulate trading. A lot of people say it's not like the real thing, which is partly true, but it's the closest thing you can get to actually simulating live money without using your own funds. And do this until you can consistently make some decent money or you're comfortable with putting in your own money and seeing if you can do it that way, even if it's just a little bit just to progress on uh, getting the emotions into it. And you can see what it's actually like to manage trades live, see them in drawdown, see the red on your screen, see the potential losses and the profits that you could potentially make. So, I've just said what it lacks, uh, missing emotional attachment to the money, feeling completely changes, the dynamics of trading when you go into a live account. We suggest starting small and slowly adding as you gain confidence if you do wish to go live quicker than you should. Trade logs, log all your trades, okay? This this is so simple, yet yeah, goes so, so, so far. You can see where you've came. You, you can literally do so much with a trade log. Log your trades however you want. Make sure you include screenshots and detailed instruction of your trade. So I will show this in a minute. Entry, stop loss, take profit, exit, and any trade management performed. This will allow you to look back and see how you've either progressed or leave something to learn from. This is what changed my trading career. I was making the same three mistakes over and over again. Don't make the mistake of not making, <laughs> don't mistake the mistake of not finding mistakes. That literally makes absolutely no sense. So <laughs> what I'm trying to say is don't make the mistake of not finding your mistakes early and don't just repeat the same mistakes over and over. And finally, creating a charade plan, which we have briefly spoke about throughout the entirety of the course. Risk percentage, days you trade, um, how many days you're gonna trade, that sort of thing. Pairs that you're gonna trade. Try not to overcrowd your watch list. I personally trade about six, seven pairs. Um, and when I say trade, I mean I analyze and just sit and wait. It doesn't mean I'll potentially trade every week, but that is how it is. Time of the day you trade, for me, as we have longer term setups, uh, our point of interest are based off higher time frames. The time of day doesn't really matter because as soon as the setup plays out, I'm gonna enter the trade. But if you want to go for a shorter term strategy that we also provide, then the time of day might affect when you want to trade. Potentially you may see success in the two o'clock times or whatever. And this is why it's important to log your trade. You'll see certain patterns that appear in your trade logs that you'll be able to learn from and you'll also be able to increase your um what do you call it your win rate your success from a lot of brokers have dashboards that allow you to see your performances online when you win most what pairs you win most with etc etc so if you can find a broker like that then it is very very recommended that you use them what time frames you plan to use what trade management you're going to use which it should be all the same um, but in terms of this, you can get more specific, like you're going to take partials at 5% or you're going to, you know, move to break even at 5% and you're going to take partials later. You might not take partials, but you might always secure break even. Will you trade trail stop loss? Will you not trail stop loss? You'll start seeing patterns when you trade and you go, often it comes back to my entry and then I get stopped at a break even and then it flies. Well, in that case, you might not want to trade trail stop loss, sorry. Um, but some people will. I personally trail stop loss. I try to secure as much money as I can along the way and milk as much of the market as I can whilst taking minimal loss. So setups that you take, a specific strategy um, that you're gonna use, how long you're gonna look at charts. Now this is quite important when you're trading live. You don't wanna just be staring at the charts. You'll start to overanalyze. You'll start to doubt yourself. And that leads us on to the per perfectly onto the next one, which is when to stop. Looking at the charts too long never helps. You need to know when to stop. You need to know how much loss you're gonna take before you stop. For example, for me, if I lose three trades in a single day, I'm done for the day. I won't take another trade just because it's gonna affect my emotions and my thought process when trading. Maximum amount of open trades at once. Personally, again, I like to have two or three at max. The amount of money you plan to invest, uh, weekly, monthly, outright to begin with, and of course, the strategy you're using. These are all things that could be in your plan. You can adapt it how you wish to. You can add other things in as you become more experienced or if you already know how to trade, then 
to stick to your plan, but change certain bits to fit the strategy that you choose to use. And finally, the part that everyone wanted and the reason you're here is to actually now time to learn to actually analyze and start taking some trades. So picking a strategy, uh, it's time to put everything together that we've learned. We know how to test, we know how to use TradingView, we know how to link the accounts. We know the psycholog psychological aspects that you need to be looking out for. You should know how to manage trades and these sort of things that we've built up the foundations, which is what other people often teach last. But there's no point in being able to trade and not understand the fundamentals that you need to trade, um, which is why we're doing it this way. You c if you learn everything on how to trade without l actually trading, this is the way to go. So it's time to head over to Discord, pick one of our time-tested strategies and implement everything you have learned. This will be a shock and a lot of hard work to begin with. Make sure you make it part of your routine, potentially an hour a night, an hour every morning. 30 minutes a night. However much you can spare, you should be allocating to this. The more time you put in, the more you're going to get out of it. Mentors, myself, James and Tans all recommend using the order block strategy as it offers great returns. But if you find it too complex or too stressful, then the EMA, DAX gap and price action strategies are great strategies to get to grips whilst you're learning to trade. So I'm going to quickly show you uh, a backtest example and how we would go about it. Okay, so we're here on Trading View. Uh, I'm gonna show the way that we backtest if you have the pro subscription. Then I'm gonna show you this first, and then we're gonna go through and see what happens after that. So, this right here, the replay button, you have this, and it'll delete time after the point where you click. So potentially, I'm gonna click here, bang, it's gone. So I'm gonna see what I see here. Um, firstly, I'm gonna break. I'm not gonna break down the trade too much as you haven't looked at a strategy yet. So I'm gonna take this. Um, I did actually take this trade live, so I do know what's about to happen. Um, so basically, you just press this tool right here, this play button, and then each time you click, it'll play the next candle, and then we go through, and we see what happens. Okay, so we've got the reaction that I wanted. I'm now looking for my entry. Um, let's see. One thing to note, you can change time frames and it doesn't um, affect the time. The only thing you need to note is if you go back in time in the daily time frame and you try to load the one minute time frame, a lot of the data won't be there for you to use. So you have to try and use modern-ish time and go from there, unfortunately. So, for example, uh, I'm not going to overanalyze this and waste too much time, so I'm just going to take this trade. Potentially, it might lose. Potentially, it'll win. I'm going to take it to there. See what happens. Okay, so we lose that trade. So what I do now is I screenshot this. Very straightforward. Screenshot. Then you know, open whatever you're using, a spreadsheet, anything like that. Paste that screenshot in. Put some annotation on it. Even if you use a Word, WordPad, Documents, Google Docs, uh, one, anything like that. And you go through and do exactly what I'm doing. Paste in and annotate the trade. Um, you, you can either use this to annotate. So potentially you say uh, reaction off order block. Uh, again, you won't know what these things are. But once you go into the strategies, you will. So reaction off the order block. Um, obviously, I didn't officially analyze this at all. I just wanted to get a trade out. And then I would annotate all of this. Put a little paragraph next to it. Post what the result was and then make a massive log of all my trades. Um, if you want to be more organized and you can create a spreadsheet um, and then use that and then potentially if you do know all the formulas you could probably work out a spreadsheet that you know works out your profitability and all of that stuff. Now if you don't have TradingView Pro which is you know a lot of you probably uh, potentially may not want to invest in it or may not be able to afford it then what you do you can use this go to tool here uh, potentially just go into let's say the 2nd of December there we go and then we just trade from the right hand side of the screen so for example this is your I'm not gonna analyze again I'm just gonna put it in so that's your level um, okay so you're waiting for something here and then potentially say okay I'm willing to take a trade here then you scroll across and blah 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 and repeat the same process only problem is if you do do this make sure you, if you're changing um time frame just draw something on the screen 
so that you know where you were. For example, if I go four hour now, it resets and I can't find it, but there it is right there and we can find it again. And then once you're on this time frame, you can delete it and then you'll know where you were. Otherwise, there's not any other way around it, which is why I highly suggest you get TradingView Pro. Again, go from there. Um, that's pretty much it in terms of backtesting and logging trades. And now it's over to you. Head over to the Discord, which I will show you now, right here. Um, you know, you'll be in this section right now. Um, and then we go th straight through. The strategies will probably look like this for you. So we've got the order blocks, the EMA. Click it to expand it. Go through the videos and so on and so forth. This one's a bit different for the order blocks. You want to start with market structure again. Tans has all of these things created, order blocks basics, inefficiency and liquidity, and then you want to watch these. And then there's different methods for it, should you wish to use it, and go through like that. Daily pip cycle, this is another one. Trade breakdowns, these are breakdowns that we've created. Tans is using them. Uh, our order block charts, which is where we put our trades as the mentors. Student trade ideas, you put all your analysis in here. And past trades, whether it be back testing, demo, doesn't really matter. You can put them in here and we will have a look and try and correct you, try and help you, or potentially just congratulate you on your great trades. But this is it for the course. Head over, find a strategy, and good luck. Happy trading, put in the effort, and don't let yourself down. Enjoy.